We are live. Welcome back to the UW in-house for Purple Caster Minions. Counterintuitivity in the blue is Team Red House. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, it's House Red Buff. And in the red is House Blue Buff. And it looks like Red Buff is setting up for an invade here. <laughs> They're doing yield camp in one bush strategy. Exactly. My name is... Uh... Blizzard, I uh, here have my friend uh, Omni Fate, and yeah, we're uh, we're looking forward to some good League of Legends today. Seems yeah, like uh, nothing's gonna be happening at the uh, the tri bush here. A little bit of emote spam, but that'll be the extent of the action. We've got exactly. a interesting draft here. We saw early on in the drafting, we saw the Kale pick, and it seemed to be an uh, answered by the Mordekaiser. So both these teams, especially with the Jinx. On the uh, on the blue side, they have a fair bit of late game potential. Uh, it seems to be going a little bit towards the Kale because she is just a monster late game. But we will have to see how the Mordekaiser decides to deal with that. Uh, this top lane is definitely going to be a point of contention for both sides as they want to get their late game top laner as much of a as much of a good start as possible. Also interesting to watch here is the pathing of Lee Sin. Uh, is he going to be going for early impact, or is he just going to go for a little bit more of a farming route? Lee Sin, especially in a matchup that's as volatile as uh, Kill Mordekaiser. And speaking of which, here comes Lee wow. Sin into the mid lane. Now oh, the electrocute! It might do it! Like, oh, Quinoa is potion. just going to live. No summoners expended there for Team... Uh, excuse me. For, uh, for Team Blue Buff there. Uh, however, she's very low, and she... Looks like she's expended at least one potion charge here. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a detriment to her. She's going to have to pop a lot of regen there. Mid lane um, level lane, two. Some bot lane. Back and forth. It's walking some up. Master we have a level two advantage. Emotes. Where's the hook? Ooh! Oh, he takes the juke. Blaze going to come down. Looks like. Little tempo. First oh, blood! What is she? <laughs> there we go. Going down for Team Red Buff. Are they looking for Wow. More, though? Mastery emotes are going back and forth between the laners. Emotes left, right, and center. Everybody's looking to to show their to display their skill. Looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets oh, hooked while emoting. The flash is gonna flash is gonna be enough to get her out of oh. the situation. Jinx taking extremely low here. That is almost but enough. Looks like she's gonna survive. Meanwhile, in the top lane, not much going on. Mortar Kaiser pushing in as expected. Looks like they've been trading about evenly here in the mid lane do this I think you should uh there's a button to bring up the scoreboard so you can see the items oh here we go there you go, there you go. yeah Lee Sin here looking for that top side scuttle all and always very important uh, objective in the early game here gonna pick that up a lot of golden experience and it looks like he's gonna be looking for a to play top lane he's walking up he's gonna move behind he's not seen and he's gonna land the W first. Ooh, the pull, it lands! Oh, the pull is good! Flash away. But the flash out's gonna be good enough. She is Kale good here. to go. Kale really, uh, excuse me, Lee Sin really making his impact known here on the early game. That's two uh, summoner spells he's forced out. Uh, this is a very good spot and... for Mordekaiser. With uh, with Kale's flash down in the lane state, pushing towards him, it's gonna be pretty hard for her, for her to walk up and get CS, so... It's definitely favorable for the Mord. Nice gank by the lead. Mid lane. All that set, of course, there's no kills going oh, down just yet. The pull's top. gonna be good, the Q. Trying to get in range God, with the phase rush. Down. Not quite. quite oh, enough. meanwhile, mid lane. That is some huge damage. Even with the level disadvantage, Quinoa is able to take a lot of HP off the Akali. He's there. He's in the he's area. Lurking in this area. Yeah, he's lurking. Ready to make a play if he needs to. He is going to be spotted by this ward here, which is very important. Rek'Sai is going to have some information as to where he's been and where he's going. I believe he just peel, keep the scoreboard up. Oh yeah. Uh. And you, just want, you just wanna, you just wanna take it. Uh. Oh. Huh? You only want. Yeah, I'll keep it up and then take it off when something happens. Yeah, just for team fights usually. Mm -hmm. Bot lane trading back and forth. Not much has been going on in the spot lane since that first engagement. Kale, TP to Kale's top. Right top. onto the Mordekaiser. 
Mordekaiser with a level advantage on both characters here. Is he gonna be able to survive this though? Taken low, healed. Ooh. He's gonna flash out. He's gonna expend that heal, but he is going to get away alive. Oh! Meanwhile, look at this play. They Red know that Kale doesn't have the TP. She just spent the TP in lane, so no they're gonna go available. for a dragon play. Red Very heads also play. on the top side here. They're gonna be able to get this. Ooh. Looks like they did known. Nice hook into the pit. Let's hook is good, and Lee Sin gonna pick up a kill here. Looks like a bit of a split focus. Lee Sin's here. Ooh! Flash. Oh! Connects over the wall. What a W. That's two, that's two more kills for Team Red Buff here. This dragon's gonna reset a little bit, but it's still gonna ultimately go down. Rek'Sai is just holding the mid lane here. Can't, not much she can do here. Looks like they'll saunter back on the bot lane and farm up. Oh, Lee Sin. Some offensive movement into the Rek'Sai jungle. Keep on to the wolf. Don't think anything will come of it. But looks like bot lane is collapsing. Here comes Thresh. Rek'Sai. Got the blast count. He's got in. the W. Blast yeah, going away. Good enough to get him out. He is She's good to go. Connect from either jungler and uh, a bit of a uh... end of it. Ooh. I'm gonna try and take out this pink ward here, but uh, I, don't I think, think he's, he's gonna he's respect there. the Rek'Sai on his river. Yeah. Well, mid lane. I call can see Rek'Sai here, and she's gonna move up and dodge that Q. Rek'Sai could, probably gonna go back to her land shark ways. And <laughs> go ahead and farm up a little bit more here. It's like in the top lane, Mordekaiser is a pretty good CS lead. About 12 CS. Lane's gonna slowly push back to him, and top lane doesn't seem like there's a lot to a lot to go on. Especially now that Kale has the six, she's going to be able to farm the minions without a significant risk of taking damage from Mordekaiser's Q harass. So that'll be good for her, and she should be able to get back some of the CS lead over time. Well, meanwhile, yeah, that, mid lane. Uh, Lane. Nice dodge with the Ult Ghost Shroud. Ult by uh, Kiana here. Kali still has her ultimate. Might want to look for play here. Kiana does have those two corrupting charges in her back pocket, but it looks like everyone's just gonna take a chill pill, go back to some farming here. Mm. Uh, an already pretty sizable gold lead here for Team Bebop. There's the initiation. Go Shroud that, in. Oh. Shroud. Shroud's gonna be good. That is a lot of damage. Imagine Akali's gonna be backing here. She yep. is uh, almost a full 25 CS up. Yeah, uh, that is a very sizable CS lead, especially a kill up. Oh, top oh, lane. Oh, top lane. Oh, wow. I missed it, my bad. There's the kill. Make impact. They're gonna push this out, and I imagine they're gonna be going for multiple plates here. Mm. Let's see how Rek'Sai's gonna respond. Looks like she's just... lane. They have the six. Ai goes in. Ooh, the hook misses. Ooh. Saya popping Zaya the ult. She's okay. Yep. Has the early level 6 advantage. So they're gonna back off Meanwhile, there. Rek'Sai is looking up top lane. Mordekaiser oh, thinks go. it's gonna be good here. Gonna sidestep. Ooh, there's the ult. Oh, Into the death going down. I think he's just... Oh, oh it's no. too much though. Oh, the, the pull back. coming out. The pull. Oh, uh, it's I not enough. I think he's still dead though. Yep. Oh, Lee Sin though. Come out with the there's the kick. Deal. Waits out the flash. Very nice. Very well played from the Lee Sin. Coming up with a cleanup kill on the Rek side. Good discipline. Good mechanics. Very good. Very solid. Very cool. And he's gonna let this wave come back. And I believe this is gonna push into Mordekaiser here. He does have a teleport available, so she'd be able to pick up this wave without losing too much. He might lose that cannon. Uh, nice chat that cannon. That's okay. Botley Blitz looking for a pull here. Looks like he's just Ooh. gonna back the set. That is a little low. W in. Flash! Oh! Oh! oh Turn flash oh, ultimate's rocket. gonna be enough to seal that kill. Wow. Though. Very nice. Doing a lot more damage than expected. Looks like they're looking for either a dive or just some sort of aggressive play on plates. Ooh, there's the box. Ult's gonna go down. Not enough damage, and they're just gonna walk out of that. Meanwhile, mid lane, Kali going in. Kali with the ultimate, Shroud's Ooh. down. Ultimate's gonna miss and Kiana's gonna draw. Wow. Meanwhile, bot lane. Hook onto Thresh, knock up onto the Blitz by Rek'Sai, and he's gonna Kiana's take the return not kill. Gonna... Oh. Oof. Blue side so is a lot of action here. White ahead here. 8 to 2. They're up almost 4k gold and have the Mountain Dragon, so very good objective and kill control by the blue side. It's looking, looking a little grim. The only one who is positive is the Rek'Sai, so he's going to be looking oh. to play around Top the spot lane. side. Mordekaiser's going to just uh, get some harass here. 
Bonsai's actually uh, losing as well too. Jinx already hit that Infinity Edge spike. Wow. Uh, that three kill gold advantage is going to be Jeez. really big. They're going to be able to continue to keep all in this bot lane. That was a uh, very big Jinx. Lee Sin went ahead and grabbed that, uh, that uh, Rift Herald as well uh, in the transition there. Gonna have even more pushing power, even more map impact. Continue that snowball and try and shut down this Kale before she gets big. Speaking of, huge, that's gonna be wide. The pull is good though. Oh! Does he want it? The nice. kick, the E! That's up play. Look easy. They're gonna get some more plates on this top lane tower. Looks like it's gonna be two. No, just one. Oh, here comes Shelly though. Yep. Gonna get all of those plays. Rek'Sai is gonna try to defend, but I don't know how much he can do here. He wants the angle to hit the eye of the Herald, but it's a little hard. Ooh, pull onto Rek'Sai. Oh, yeah, they're gonna uh, back off, and he should be able to take it out there. That's still a solid, you know, four plates he got off that Rift Herald. That's pretty good value. Yeah, it's a lot of good. pressure on the top lane. Oh, Kale's gonna TP back. I think she wants to shove this in knowing that Mordekaiser can't TP. Oh, bot lane! Bit of a skirmish going on. They're able to get the kill onto the Zaya. They're gonna move up. Blitz. Yeah, Tries to knock up. Ooh. Ooh, flash to dodge the Jinx ult. Well done by Thresh, and he's gonna have to go onto base. And it looks like they're gonna get a lot of plates bot lane as well. Yeah. Especially Blue with this. Snowballing gold advantage out this, of control. Looks this, like they're gonna get first bot tower as well. Yeah, this early mountain drake has been doing so much work. That said, Rek'Sai moving on down. Just gonna be in the area. Try and prevent any shenanigans. She's gonna start heading on back. Oh, Kali. Look at this level advantage in the mid lane. Level 10 to level 8. Almost 30 CS up as well. Uh -oh. Very significant. So you don't face check bushes. <laughs> That's said. Oh, hook onto the Akali. Maybe they can bring her down? Rek'Sai's gonna fall. They're gonna keep going in. Akali onto the Thresh. Ult in. It's gonna kill him with the Electrocute damage. Jinx W onto the Quinoa. She's gonna try to get away, but Lee Sin is there for the chase. Zaya is there to back her up, and they will be able to get out. Lee Sin Q onto the Zaya. Don't think he's gonna follow up. Oh, he does! Oh, he takes the Q. Flash! Oh, but the Invis! Oh, this from Quinoa. He really wanted the kick there, I think, is what he was going for. Oh, and it went on yeah. cooldown too, even though it didn't cast. That is so unlucky. Ugh. That was pretty disastrous. Down. Even still, giving up the 600 gold shutdown, it doesn't even make a dent in this gold. Yeah, lane. no, this Massive. This net worth discrepancy is growing more and more as these lanes are just so in favor of the blue side. Yeah, Jinx is snowballing, almost out of control here. Uh, Lee Sin is having a lot of map impact, getting a lot of objectives. Kali's 3-0. Oh, on the mid. Fresh, yeah. not quite gonna connect to that hook. Top lane. Mord's taking some punishment. Rek'Sai in with a chilling smite. He's gonna flash forward and ult onto the Kale. Gonna yeah, try to get her. You can see that Rek'Sai's there. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, the stopwatch. The stopwatch coming that through. is tragic. Yeah. tragic. He's gonna fall. Meanwhile, oh, looks mid like on the mid. Ooh. And that's gonna be an easy kill for the blue side. That 100 Almost. range on the hook. Extremely yeah, powerful. This most recent patch. Oh yeah. And second Mountain Drake gonna go down here. This is, this is not blue side's well. Gonna have a massive pushing advantage. I think this might be a 20 minute Baron type of game for them. I think it will as well. That Jinx is going to be outputting so much damage and this doesn't look good for the red side. I think part of their play was to want to take it late game with these late game monsters like Zaya and Kale to be able to ramp up. With, but with these Mountain Drakes especially, it's going to be very easy for blue side to take objectives and close out the game with increased structure damage. So looks like Lee Sin is poising aggressively, farming the enemy jungle and he's pinging furiously. Really wants to make a play. See what happens. They have a ward on the area. Got that of sense. They are dewarding with the uh, the dust blade on Quinoa. They're gonna back off. A little bit of uh, vision wars here on the bot side. Meanwhile, top lane, Morden Kale just just having a bash, just farming away. The uh, CS lead is still pretty constant, but they're both kind of farming equally. Ooh, is something happening? Okay. Ooh, Lee Sin goes oh, in. Lee Sin's gonna go in. Hook Let's onto the Thresh. Very nice pick, and they should be able to get that. Box is in, and Zai is going to Blast Plant away to safety. Nice little hook. 
This Blitz is really doing very well for this blue side. Seven, eight kill participation. Doing very well. They're gonna run it down mid. Tyler 1 style. It's an A-Ram. Yep, they got the demolish. They got the turret. Ooh! Oh, <laughs> and they got the Fox. Oh no. You hate to see that happen. You flash away. Call Power dies. The call is gonna Ooh. go in and he is gonna get she's gonna not secure the kill, but she's gonna get out. Bolt out for They're style gonna get points. An inner tower. They might just keep going. I don't know the what they have to be scared of. Lee Sin's gonna take the Q! Zaya ult, she's gonna flash. Yeah. Ooh, very well played by Zaya. <laughs> she wants to let us all know. She really wants to let us How all know. How well played that was. That indeed. was... 7. Count them. 7 mastery levels on the Zaya. She's still doing it. Out of vision, still doing it. S is, S is Thresh. Yep. Just wanna make sure everyone knows. Mhm. Mm I think everyone is well aware. Very good kiting away by the Zaya. And... Of Oops. note here, uh, is, uh, Kale's going, uh, looks for the AD on hit build with the Blade of the Rune King. Could be Ooh, Gunblade. Interesting. It's, uh, it's, it's actually more likely to be Gunblade. Uh, I'm sorry to, to disappoint you there, but... Uh, yeah, I'd say so as well. I... Gunblade into Nashus, imagine. Yeah, they're gonna need that AP damage, considering uh, the rest of them are very heavy in the AD department. Mordekaiser looks said. like he's going for... Levels here. Is Mordekaiser getting a, a, a proto belt? Uh, it looks like a proto belt, yeah. Gonna be a proto belt for Mordekaiser here. She gives that extra bit of mobility. Mm -hmm. Mordekaiser, a very slow champion normally. Very good for proccing a uh, phase phase rush as well. It's a little bit easier with that missile that comes out the back. Very helpful for chasing and running away. So, once he gives the ult on someone. Well, at least they got a face check a push here. Hook. You don't want to do that against Thresh. Oh, but... Is he able to get out? No, Rex Hyold's following uh, him, and the Ignite Lord is, is enough damage good. to kill him. Ooh. Fancy footwork there. However, Mordekaiser, under his own tower here, not quite oh. in range. He's going to pop the ultimate death He's trying to throw hands. Meanwhile, Kiana is going to get caught and going to go down here. Oh. Mordekaiser going to get Rex Eye. He's looking for another one. Wow. Ooh. Kale gets dove by the Akali top lane. All over the place. No mercy. And that's gonna be a clean four for one trade. That is a decisive They're victory look for blue some side. More towers here. Imagine blue, uh, sorry, top side outers uh, is a consideration. Uh, bot inner is a consideration. All these objectives on the table with that mountain break. In fact, Mordekaiser is gonna go ahead and start smacking that. Not yeah. quite gonna be able to take it down by himself. Ocean Drake up next. Where do I see the? Am I able to see the objectives in spectator mode? Where can I? Uh, I don't know actually. Hmm. I you can. I don't think you can see the next the timers. Okay. So you might have to check that out later. Uh, I don't think I need the exact timers. You can just look at like the minute and the twenty second timing. Yep. Jinx and Blitz gonna go to work on the spot lane tower. Oh, they're a little far up there. Team is collapsing on them. Chilling Chilling's smite. smite gonna go down. And Rek'Sai... quite sure Hook onto the Blitz, oh, into the team. TP's yeah. coming in. The Aftershock, he's so tanky! Quinoa has to run away. Jinx ult's gonna get the kill into Flash Blitz hook onto the Rek'Sai. He's dead too. Thresh hook onto the Jinx, she's gonna have to flash away. Akali is going in with the dashes. She has the ult. Thresh is gonna die. Dashes are happening everywhere! I don't even know what's going on anymore. Leeson and Akali are just hopping around like maniacs, jumping into the back line. And... Four for zero. Incredible. Oh. They might end the game off this. It's okay though, because Zai has mastery seven, so who's the All real winner here? All those mastery levels aren't gonna do you anything if, yeah. you're, if you're dead, buddy. It's quite difficult to come back into this game. Looking very grim. Is this EU LCS though? Are we gonna <laughs> see a hero flame from the Zaya? Let's see. 5v1 Nexus last stand. She has the mastery. If anyone can do it, it's yeah. a mastery seven Zaya. Zaya walking forward, oh, dodge the pull, so much play it out. Lee Sin gonna come in. Zaya ult's gonna avoid the kick here. Oh! Teen oh, wants able to take out Mord in the death realm. That is a huge shutdown. is oh, gonna try like to run away. Can... And, and she's, she's gonna, gonna get... go down too. <laughs> the amount of gold. Here. The amount of gold. They zero can... right back. My god. That was insane. And... Let's remember though, it's still a 10k gold lead. That's that's still a, a huge gold lead, seven towers to zero. But red team showing some signs of life here. Yeah, you can stay uh... capitalizing on the mistakes, but you know, you take what you can get in these situations. They're gonna go for the ocean Drake. Kiana gonna stay at home and clear those minions. Only 
one in hit down means they're not out of this game by any stretch if they can oh. pull off more fights like oh. that. Oh! <laughs> oh no! You hate to see that happen! Oh my god. Insult to injury there. Lee Sin is... <laughs> Uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for all the thanks for all the help with that dragon. I'll I'll take that now. Thresh is in fact inting it seems. <laughs> RNG teams. A little bit of friendly got banter. A lot of, yeah, got a lot of friendly banter here. They are just taking complete control of the, the enemy territory. Ooh, Zaya, nice E to get the blue buff. She's gonna get slowed up by the Jinx W. Blitz is gonna approach and she's just dying to the right clicks by Jinx. Ooh. Blitz's uh, approach gets stopped Burn by the Thresh hook, but there's the pull onto the Thresh, and they have so much damage. Thresh is going to fall, Rek'Sai is going to have to burrow away to safety. And Looks like everyone's just going to posture here, look for another pick, yeah, look for another play. Lee Sin right at the gates there. Yeah, Lee Sin uh, really wants to go in, but we see some pings onto the Baron, and it looks like they're going to show a little bit of discipline. Kali's still sticking around for the top tower, Lee Sin's near the enemy base, but... Jinx and more, they can do this thing. They got two Mountain Drakes. It shouldn't be that I big mean, of an not, issue. There's not much way I can see for them to contest it. They have no vision. They have no. They have one blue trinket on Kiana, right? Yeah. And that's on cooldown now. It is very hard. Kiana does have it. quite a bit of... Yeah. Oh, the Lee Sin gets the Baron Seal! <gasps> no, 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 no. It's just, oh. it's, it's just I thought that was the, the enemy Lee Sin. Oh, that, that would have been so I was so now. ready for, for the comeback. No. No, yeah. I, I was game, so ready. Looking like it's all of it over. Exactly. Oh, back. I was so ready for the excitement that my brain just conjured up something exciting. That's how much. Yeah, at least at least it's this size there for a second in your head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. Well, look at Lee Sin. Okay, look at this Lee Sin. Okay, he's got red, red, on his clothes. So you know. He's he's from Team Red Buff. Exactly. He's from yeah. Team Red Buff. Has, has the red clothes. Buff. But he has Seems the blue health people. bars. Probably extremely confusing to the enemy team. Must be a tactical uh, choice of wardrobe there. I've I've been told by our producers. Let's hope gonna go wide there. I've been told that uh, some people are playing off rolls or rolls they're not used to. Which might be oh. part of this. Oh. Meanwhile, Hope's gonna go down. Ball. Kale ult's gonna come out. Root color's gonna come back, but it's not gonna be good enough. Kale looking to make a play. She's gonna get slammed into the ground by oh. that Mordekaiser. And that looks like it's gonna be <laughs> GG for game one in a convincing fashion. Zaya always the kills uh, to 11. Always Zaya. the survivor. She gonna tell us how much mastery she has? She is. She look has at that. Seven levels. <laughs> what a some, game. She's gonna throw out some autos. Throw out a little dance emote or two. Some uh, very up. good map pressure all around. A lot of, lot of around. fun being had by by everyone here. <sighs> <laughs> everyone trying to make some friends today. Zai is playing skill shot dodging simulator. Oh but, uh, wait what? <laughs> Team Red Buff is gonna take it wow. in a convincing fashion. That was merciless play. Wow. That Lee Sin was able to do so much work. In